Welcome back, one and all. We have a few more things to do before we get our ending. A better ending, I guess. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait, where are we? <gasps> oh, we're back here. Oh, I hope I don't go straight to the battle. Back so soon? How are you feeling? I'm going back. I see. Do what you have to. Okay. Wow, so I get a do-over, huh? Okay. That was some of the craziest stuff I have ever seen in a video game. And I can't believe I survived that. Yeah, that's what the souls were. It's really grim when you think about it. And I, if I really have to, like, think back to that battle, Flowey, if it were me, like, normally, if I were playing normally, uh, and this was not a merciful pacifist run, I probably would have killed Flowey then. He just murdered a child over and over and over and over again. And he probably would have done it over and over and over again. I wonder how many times he would have counted. And like, you think I would have been happy killing you four times? Thirteen times? Like, every time he loaded it? That would have been... interesting. Okay. See if I can find my way back... to the lab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Thought there was an elevator. No. But yeah, the... Uh, I especially like the effect of him loading the save over just to kill me over and over and over and over again. That was particularly brutal when you think about what's happening to this kid. Like, loaded it each time and just killed me each time. Really violent. Like, holy crap. Like, I... <laughs> it's weird in a way that Flowey is also, like, one of my favorite characters because I love cruel and sadistic characters like that. Like, how fucked up that character is. How did he get like that? Okay. I think we're back to the lab now. Oh! Ring. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This is your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Okay. Cool beans. It doesn't seem like anything's really changed. So I think everything is exactly as we left it. Except my inventory? No, my inventory is... completely filled. I now get it. It's called junk food because... Ha! It's from a dumpster. I got it from those dumpster chicks. Speaking of dumpster chicks... Hey, look! Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Yeah, creepy alleyway. What's it say? Can't read the wall. I remember you two. Braddy and Caddy. Uh, what do you got? Mystery key. Mystery key. I still don't have enough for that, so I guess I'll have to... I'll have to, uh... I'll have to come back later when I have more money. Alright, so... We need to go to... What's up, dude? And those two awesome bras. Oh, wait, okay, so let's go to Undyne's place. If I can't get there quickly, then I will fast forward. That's the set where I fought Meditin. Medi Medi Medin? Medin. Medon. He's still in shock, as I remembered. Let's go to left floor one. I think that's at the entrance of the lab. I'm loving this so far. It's like that flowey battle was the best it was so crazy oh yeah here we are ta la la care for a ride ride in the boat yes I think this takes us to Snowden where will we go today yeah Snowden then we're off I can't stop thinking about that flatway battle it was so sweet scary but sweet you can never have too many hot dogs sadly that's not true I think right now I'd rank the characters. There's I like them all, but like my top favorite are Sans because I can relate to him the most. I feel like that's my spirit monster. Sans and then like Flowey is second. And probably Papyrus of Torale as third. I have a soft spot for Alphys too. Okay, so we're back in Snowden. There was a box here, if I remember correctly. I need to start depositing some things into. There it is. Okay, use the box? Yes. 
I want to take the dog residue. What is that? It's so strange. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go to... Oh, wait. That's the entrance. Let's go to Papyrus' place. I think it's through the shortcut so we don't have to walk all the way through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we are. Did I save? I sh nah, whatever. It seems Undyne has something for you. She's the person that's not me. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Shoot, you're right. Damn it! I knew it. that's why I went to the box in the first place to deposit. I'm so dumb. Wasting everyone's time. What the hell am I doing? Okay. Yeah, I need to deposit something. I need to put this over there. Yeah. What's the dog residue do again? I forgot. I got that from, like, the legendary item, if I remember correctly. Alright, back to the shortcut. I love the music here. I love snowy places. It's so nostalgic. Um, so I have something for you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, oh, that's a face I've never seen before. Well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends. So, I'll t tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh yeah, she's a fish person. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Oh yeah, she 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 freaking like dehydrated last time she came here. Like she straight up died, and I had to throw water on her because she's all fishy. Uh, there's the library Barbie, the lie Barbie. You know what, let's revisit the townspeople. Maybe they have something to say. Maybe I'll try frowning. No, I just can't do it. Wait, I've got a joke. Knock, knock. Uh, that's all I've thought of. You're brilliant. Let's see if the little story progressed between this guy and the, the girl he thinks is strange. That lady over there has been going for a walk for a while now. But she hasn't moved an inch from where she's standing. Well, I haven't either, but I don't want her to notice me over here. That's, that's funny. Huh? Yes, I'm taking my money for a walk. It's just a very slow one. Like, how much time has passed between me going over there and talking to her? What if I ran for mayor? I don't think I would do a good job, and I hate responsibility. But I love politics, so I might be a perfect match. Oh. Okay, we've already done that. I don't like politics. I don't do politics. So here we go. Alright. Let's go for a ride in the boat, and we'll go to Hotland. So Undyne doesn't like going to the Hotlands. Good to know. Oh god, it's the cat table thing again. Mother 3 vibes. With the, with the... Water's very wet today. With the Mr. Saturn table. Alright, to the Hotlands. We gotta deliver this letter to... To her. Come see me again sometime. Tra-la-la! Alright, save. Fill the determination. Man. Okay, here we are. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yeah, no! In all caps. Yes! Slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, no. Is that another letter? Is that another letter? Letter. I like... Okay, so in my ending, the first ending I got... She became a recluse because she, I guess she feels guilty about what happened between all of us and Asgore and all that. So, I guess this is what if we do, if we uh, settle things with her. I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. <gasps> of course, Undyne has a thing for it. I think there's, it's been heavily implied, but... Now we know for sure. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did... I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. 
And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make up to you. Uh, make it up to you. Oh, yeah. Let's go on a date. In red text. Whoa! Dating start. Oh, it's the same thing with Papyrus. Dot, dot, start? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> she is adorable. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating, start! H hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop? Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Like, monster dating is weird. It can't just be dating, it's gotta have all this stuff, right? Anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. I uh, maybe can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your skit. It's all for Undyne. Undyne stuff that Undyne would like. Undyne. Undyne? Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Man, Alphys, you are transparent as shit right now. Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. Okay, any second now. <laughs> uh, she's clearly having regrets about this. Uh, do you like anime? Yeah, I'd... Ghost in the Shell's pretty good. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage d Yeah, where Braddy and Caddy are, huh? Wow, there's actually a background here. Here we are. This is where Undan and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Uh, she's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. <laughs> She's dressed up! Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? <sighs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. No? No. No? But she wasn't at home. What the heck could she be? Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. Oh, that's fine, Office. I like that. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you? To, to make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse than I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. My nun's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. Well, I have heart and determination. And I survived the hellstorm that was the flowey battle after the first death. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth! The truth! But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. This is like the Aladdin thing. Tell her the truth! Be yourself. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy, or a truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself. Yeah, I just said that. But I don't really like who myself is. 
I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Ugh. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll get all hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't know that I have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? No, I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <clears throat> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, the temptation is strong with this one, but I, I don't think Undyne would say that. So I gotta, I gotta prepare for the real thing. I'm fine. Haha, <laughs> glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to um talk to you about something. Then she kisses you. <laughs> this is such a troll thing. I mean, I kind of want to reload my save or something and do this, but I don't know if it. Like, the game takes note of how many times you reset. I've never reset yet. So, I... We'll just... We'll just do it normally. I'm interested to see what the other choice wields, though, or brings. What is it, Alphys? You see, I... I... I like the slow version of Alphys' theme, too. I have been exactly truthful of you. You see, I... I... Oh, forget it. Undyne. I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and st strong and nice. You always think to, to listen to me when I talk about n nerdy stuff. Y you always d d do your best to make me feel really special. I like telling me you won't beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne! Holy shit! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, Undyne! Hold me! <laughs> The expressions and the fact that Undyne just happened to be there, was she yelling that loud or was Undyne just in the area? Undyne. Holy crap. <gasps> what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Uh-oh. Oh, hope she doesn't try to kill... Oh, they're both looking at me. Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes, I mean... Uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I... I've been lying to you. What? What about, about what? About, well, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I was just, I just like to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone. I was just eating frozen yogurt in pajamas. That time I... Elvis. <laughs> I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't someone nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I really think you're neat, okay? Aww. Oh, Alphys. Shh. What? <laughs> Alphys! I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you threw in the trash can, you care about it. 100% at maximum power! So... So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want you to help. I want to help you become happy with who you are, and I know just the training you need to do that. And on you, you're gonna train me? <laughs> what me? Oh, <laughs> Papyrus! This is the best. This is the best. Papyrus is the best. 
Now I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Yeah, get those votes shaken. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Oh nine. I'll do my best. Papyrus, I love you. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? <laughs> those cartoons, those comics. I like loops fed up your theme. Those are still real, right? Enemy's real, right? Oh, I, I don't know if I should break it to her. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Enemy, she doesn't look like she can handle it though. Enemy is real. Ha ha! I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're gonna get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! I don't think she could have taken it. She looked like she was about to explode. What the hell? Oh. Oh, right. This is the, this is the dump. Oh, God. Yes, the dumps. So... Oh, wait. I didn't see what it said. Her taking worthless garbage fills you. Okay. I thought I said something about the, uh... Thing we just did. So yeah, this is where we fought the dummy before, but he's not here anymore, so it's okay. Take a space food bar from the cooler. Sure. It's a DVD case for anime. This for claw marks. Okay, so I guess that's Alphys. Oh, howdy. If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training earlier today, very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Awesome. Okay, let's go to her lab. Let's go to her Dexter's laboratory. Is her house still on fire? Where's Undyne's house? Is it still on fire? I thought it was over here. I guess not. The snail place. I love this music. It's just so like weird. Oh yeah, the guy in here. Uh, now we're good. It's cool to revisit old areas. So let's use the box. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Dog residue. What the hell does the dog residue do? What does it do? Okay, we're not here. We need to go to the... There we are. Yes. Take me to... Hotland. We need to go to the lab. And finally make make peace and make everything up with Alphys. So we're good. Shala, la remember to take a break every so often. Oh, don't you worry, Mr. Ferryman or Miss Ferryman. Can't exactly tell underneath that hood. Coming in sometime. Alright, we're back at the lab, folks. Here we are about to get the next part of it. So, let's find out what is going to happen with Alphys, and apparently, I think that might be the end of it. Maybe? Who knows? I'll find out next time, and so will you guys. See you all then. Stay tuned!